You must be wondering what I am doing here. Well, science might get boring sometimes, but let me twist that around and make it interesting for you. Get ready for some booms and bangs with colors to go with that. Today, I'm going to show you how to make colored flames with ease. First, you're going to need a big bottle of acetone. A small bottle also would do, but if you want to have twice as much fun, the big bottle is exactly what you need. Now, everyone has acetone lying somewhere in their house, but don't worry, you could substitute it with either a hand sanitizer or even an aftershave lotion. When I say colored flame, I know you guys are thinking about all the bright colors like red or green, so why not start from there? For a bright green flame, take a flat container and mix boric acid and acetone in it. If you're wondering where you're going to get boric acid from, the powder that you use to keep ants away, that's got boric acid in it, people. Boric acid doesn't burn by itself. That is why we have to mix it with acetone. Now that we've mixed it, let's ignite it. See how the flame is an awesome green? Pretty bright, huh? If you want a red flame, you will need to cut up a few lithium ion batteries. Mix the lithium you have taken from the batteries in some acetone and light it on fire for a really bright and awesome red flame. Getting into the whole colored flame thing, aren't we? So, why don't we try something else as well? Get some non-sodium salt substitute. No, do not look at me like that. Those things actually exist. Anyway, mix the non-sodium salt substitute with acetone and light it up. The potassium chloride in the substitute lends the flame a lavender color. When boron compounds are heated, electrons absorb a certain amount of heat energy that causes them to jump to higher energy levels. After some time, the electrons lose this energy and fall back down to their original levels, emitting this energy in the form of light. Because the energy absorbed by electrons is different per element, each element will give a different color. Make sense? Now, let's scale this experiment up a tad bit. Now, I'm sure you guys have like spray bottles lying around your house. Mix a good quantity of boric acid with acetone and pour it in the spray bottle. Before you go to the next step, I'd advise you to wear gloves and you'll see why. Adjust the nozzle of your spray so that it sprays more like a mist. That's it. Spray it on the naked flame and watch. Congratulations, you are a firebender now. All right, folks, that's all. So if you guys think that today was really interesting, let us know in the comments below. Give us your ideas, your feedback, and don't forget to bring the crazy because we have a ton of more experiments coming your way. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share our channel. Bye, guys.